if you know say your boyfriend jealous or your husband jealous mm. and your body count is like 60 body count yeah this is a little story and a true true thing two hearts come together in a mutual ring keeping it together with a real life welcome to the family this is our life it's perfect i'll just set you here for me you're the sugar to my tea meet the mitchell family i don't feel like that is what makes you know a solid relationship no and I think, it's not about the gift i think too many relationships too many women too many men you're missing the point though. no i'm not no 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 it's no, not no, about no, the no, gift. no it's, it's, it's still the, the standard for me, i'm saying it's not about the gift for me it was always about did you choose it did you select a card did you get up and go yeah no and no you I, know what I, I, mean? I, I get that i get that which brings me to the next thing that i think would be a great thing to talk about is love languages so for me just from hearing this you understand that my love language is acts of service right in the sense that if wayne really wants to show me he loves me he just has to say things to me like i can help with this do you want me to sort that out let me call the plumber like to me that's like oh jesus <laughs> All right, let, let's make it clear. What, what are, are the, the love, love languages? languages? Okay, it's, it's easy. It's not anything. It's only five, you know. But it's actually it was a really a breakthrough thing for us when we discovered this. So, love languages: physical touch, which is fairly self-explanatory. It means that you like to touch your feet. Touch. Like. You want. You, you make intimacy a priority. Like. It is important to your public display of affection, all yeah. that stuff. The next one is gift giving or gift receiving, sorry. Mm -hmm. Self explanatory. You receive love through gifts. Okay, you like so to be speaking of gifts. the giving of yeah. gifts and stuff. Okay, that's, so yeah. that's a love that's language. That's not really my love language, but that's a lot of people's love language. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you can have all five love languages, but you are you have one dominant one is what I, is what I understand. Okay. The next one is acts of service means how can i help how can i show you that we are partnered how can i um show up for you and help to lift some of your load mm -hmm. another one is words of affirmation words of affirmation is you're doing amazing i'm so proud of you thank you so much for helping me with that mm -hmm. i love when you you um do this or that affirming encouraging words um how much we got for four and the last one is quality time quality time sounds like what it is we're spending focused time together you're not on your phone mm -hmm. you're not doing this you're not doing that we are spending meaningful time together so the ideal relationship speaks all these languages yeah Definitely. but what happens to people is that we're speaking basically german to somebody who speaks spanish so what happened a lot in our relationship and by the way we should mention what your dominant love language is watch this <laughs> Babe, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. You see that? That's his love language. <laughs> so what happened to us very early is that my love language is acts of service. So guess what I did? I tried to do everything for Wayne because I that's what makes me feel loved. Babe, can I help you with anything? Hey, da -da -da, you want me to, to deal with that? Let me take care of that. Da -da -da -da. Let me go into this. Let me do this. Da -da -da -da. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Wayne did not receive that as love appreciate it grateful for it but it wasn't necessarily what made him feel loved similarly Wayne would affirm me all the time I'm so proud of you babe wow I cannot believe that you started a business like where did that come from wow you know da -da -da -da. and I'm just like I appreciate it I thank you for it but it wasn't what made me feel loved and I think the minute that we could understand each other's language and we knew how to flip that around it's a big deal when you can figure out what your partner's love mm, language is mm, and what yours is because now fast. you're not lost in translation. Mm -hmm. And it can feed into what you know makes them Absolutely. The minute I start on. to speak his language, he starts to speak mine. The minute I start to look at him and just, you know, and it's genuine, I'm not making anything up, but I can I can see um, things differently when I start to speak his language. Man, I really appreciate it when X, Y, Z and or, you know, I love that song that you just wrote. That's genuine. It's not like I'm making it up. And immediately he would speak my language. Babe, can I help you with anything? Let me take that for you. Um, you know, I'm going to call the plumber because that thing has been leaking. Immediately, you know, 
Um, so it's important to know your love language and it's important to know your partner's love language. Even kids have love languages, which is interesting. Like Jackson's love language is physical touch. <laughs> Yeah. He is constantly yeah. on us. <laughs> Atlas's love language might be words of affirmation. Yeah, he, he really likes to be affirmed. Us? Yeah. We're not sure. <laughs> um, but that was a big deal for us to figure out. Um, so that's why I go back to the Valentine's Day thing. It's nothing to do with the actual gift I get. Like, mm. you could give me. Gungo piece. But try and know your wife, your girlfriend, it's your true. husband might be the person who loves, loves a gift. A great gift. Yes. Or loves but you a have gift. to know that. You have to know. Yeah. So stop speaking German to somebody who only speaks French. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Oops. How are you passwords right here? It long. But you know it good though. It's so long. Have you ever been in a situation where your spouse does something and you have to seek advice from your in-laws or do you guys work things out on your own? I think it depends what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it depends what it is. But I, I've um, had times where me and Tammy in an argument, or not a big argument, but you know, just something that you want to talk to somebody about. And then, and that's why me and Mr. Chin relationship is so solid because mm -hmm. He has the ability to hear what the scenario is and then give me advice, not necessarily have a tech side with him mm. daughter where you know say a film you know, film tribe, but look at it and say, My son, make it run underneath the river. Mm. I saw it go. Just boom bang 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 and say, Yo, you know, say I tree I thought that I'm say alright, a real talk. I'ma just take it and just know say boom bang. I'm just say you know, say if you do this and that and that, as so time is you know, but if you do this, it correct it back. I say, you yeah, talk, me try it and it work. And then I say, yeah, man, me know my daughter, man, me know the two, me know the whole of them. And that's the beauty about our parents. Who knows you like your mother and your father? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I've had instances where I've totally been able to talk to um, mommy about it. And even before that, with, with daddy as well, Mr. Mm -hmm, Mitch, mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. used to give me great counsel as well. But mm -hmm. so has Mrs. Mitch, you know, because sometimes there are things that you don't understand and you don't understand maybe where something is coming from mm -hmm. or even how to navigate it. Yeah. But it does depend on the in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there are some in-laws who... you just can't do that. You can't. Way. Yeah, yeah. And right. there and are we know also that. We know that. some things that only you two can work out. Some things you can't involve your parents. And you'll also be surprised that all you need to do is just start that conversation with the in-law. You'd be surprised to know what the re reaction would mm -hmm. be. Sometimes you have them off as them not going to take that mm -hmm. conversation so good. But and they might surprise you. They might surprise you. Yeah. So, yeah. so Yeah, I mean, yeah, every, every situation is yeah. different. Still. Yeah. But we've definitely done that. And it's certainly been helpful. Even if it was just, even if they didn't have any advice, I was just a sounding board. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm sure Nana Fall has. Oh made, gosh! Made oh gosh! Countless times. I even Countless spoke to my dad times. just this weekend. Yeah. I said, like, "Daddy, what I do?" What are you call him, but what do you? He didn't do anything. Was there ever was there ever a moment in your relationship where a level of trust was lost? If so, how was it regained? Um, I don't think so. Mm. One of the greatest um, things that I love about Tammy is that I just. I trust her with my heart and my soul. Yeah, like, same. She does have that something that I lie to something that all across the board. How and she deals with her really family, been... how she deals with the people who she loves, she deals with her kids, um, has always been, you know, something that I've always said, wow. Yeah, know, likewise. One of um, our best qualities. We've never given each other a reason to not trust one another. I mean, I tell people all the time, like, we, not, we knows everything. You know, like, we talk about everything. Mm -hmm. We say the most unthinkable things to each other. <laughs> like, joke when nothing run, yeah. we run them. Yeah. Um, but no, we haven't. And I don't know. Um, them I don't some know. that kind of build trust too. Because sure. if you don't trust somebody, there is a limit to what you will, you know, share, do and do, share yeah. around them. I did see a question earlier where it was saying something about um, 
if if yes, infidel I know but I, I saw something it just triggered me okay. if we are here it is what do you guys consider a deal breaker in a relationship and this is a very deep question yeah. because gosh you know I, w- I want to say that obviously like if there was some kind of infidelity that would be a deal breaker you know um, but the truth is that we don't know that and we don't know that because we haven't lived it. And I had a very wise woman who was married a lot longer than us say to me that in her 20s, um, something like infidelity would have been a deal breaker, even in her 30s. She said, but once she got to her 40s and then in her 50s, uh, she knew that they had invested so much into their relationship that she's not sure if that would have been a deal breaker huh. anymore. Talking a girl. And, a lady. and that made me go really because I am so that's always just in my mind been something that if that ever happened I used to I used to say to you all the time me afraid for what me gone you know and it's such an interesting thing that as you get older you view things so differently mm. and there are lots of people who have survived um, infidelity not without a lot of work and a lot of hard moments, I'm sure. Yeah. But I guess at that point you have a choice, you know? I can't mm-hmm. answer that question really of, of if it would be a deal breaker for us or not. And I'm neither, not sure what would be a deal breaker. Neither can I, because the more I think about it, I mean, it, it's, it's a delicate thing, you know? But the more I think about it, <laughs> I have so much, so much, um, as that lady said invested in mm-hmm. and so much riding on this you know union. by the way sorry to cut you when people think of infidelity they always think of the man cheating on the woman but if you put no. your shoe on the other foot can't be no, that, that, that now have nothing to do with, with, with um, baby if I did cheat on you you'd stay with me no ask me so <laughs> every situation different I'm a devil like meds it that way there. But <laughs> I've had dreams where when she tell me and I wake up. Thanks. Like me really, there's something such a winner. Terrible. Terrible. She not easy people, but me me is a man where we can't we split say. justice, you know. We can't say, babe. That's the bottom line. Yeah, it it it, it hard it what hard to say. We split justice. Meaning for said me after Why are you look, putting on the bad man attitude right now? You is this marshmallow? That I'm talking to? Is this puppy? Is this patty crumbs? Mosquito foot, you know? <laughs> no, but, um, you know, I see your sister, that, that, that's a very delicate thing. And yeah. you, you don't know. And nobody you knows. You don't know until the situation presents itself. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. The question is, the question is, have you guys ever been separated? Who challenged kids? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like you just pricks off the like my eyebrow. Oh, Is it still there? Oh, I'm a cat friend. <laughs> we, have, we haven't been separated. Um, no. The closest we come to separated are when, before we were married, and we were at, we had a, we had a long distance <laughs> relationship, oh but that was, a, that was just physical yeah. separation for, yeah. for long periods of time. One night, we didn't leave the house, though. And the next me? day, I was back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, believe like that like a caller. Believe that like caller. That's not true. You call me. Ooh. Is Momo call me? I but think, I mean, oh, Mr. Momo, on, call the guy. I was big <laughs> and pregnant. I didn't remember what it was about. But you know, hormones was running wild. And I was like, really? And I remember I went to st- <laughs> test his house for the night. And then by the next day, you were like, just stop your foolishness and come. <laughs> I was Yo. like, I'm trying to make a point here. Hi, Boozy. Hi. Hi, Tunku. Hi. Hi. Mm. You smell like, hold on, let me see what you're eating. Jajamian. Jajamian, where you get Jajamian <laughs> from? I don't know. All right. Go finish up eating. Right, go on, go on. Close, the Close the door. I like this one. It says, one thing that stands out in one of your past videos is getting over arguments quickly. That's a key to successful marriage. I love that practice. 
To love someone is a choice one makes. After removing all other characteristics, what do you say? Hmm. That is true. Something that has been really good for us is learning how to recover quickly from any arguments. Um, I don't remember where that came up or how that came around, but I just remember this idea of like, hey, I think it started with that whole thing about never go to bed upset, um, which is a good thing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what I've noticed is that when we have an argument, right? I give you the olive branch. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I give you the olive branch, but you don't take it. But because I, and then I don't know if I'm guilty of just jumping at the olive branch as you put it. <laughs> Every time I put it. Down. Yes. Because you never you, give me the olive branch. No, if I say, hey babe, um, what's that on TV? You know, and the vex, and you have to careful, care for <laughs> know where the tone is. If we reach back to that level, then we will get. It. <laughs> But as soon as she said, hey, babe, I was like, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, that's, babe, that's babe, not hey, true. babe, babe, hey. That is so nice. No, true. you don't make me the one to instigate the olive branch. A lot of the times is you. Well, a lot of the times is because done. you are the one who started the whole thing. No. Yes. No, not true. Yes. Not true. Not, not true. Um, it is. Not and that's true. not true. I, I, I just, me personally, me can't take the malice me can't take the not nah talk me can't take the vex me can't take the we can't watch a movie tonight and i think i think what was important to, to realize as well is that i still do very much believe that if there is something that is um in need of attention and something you need to talk about sometimes you need a minute to gather yourself and how you're going to discuss it because the other thing that doesn't work is blowing up in a temper and screaming across a room you know what i mean and so we do recover quickly. We don't go to bed angry with each other. If that happens, it's once in a blue moon. Um, but generally, and this is something that is known across the board, women take on a little bit more than men do, even emotionally. So whereas men are willing to kind of like glaze over things and glass over things, we think very deeply about certain things and kind of want to get to the root of things. And sometimes we make things mean more than they do. <laughs> right? Are true. Facts. Facts. Five and so sometimes up. men are a lot quicker to want to move on because they just want everything to be back to normal. But for us as women, sometimes something has been displayed that literally sends you off kilter and then it sends you into... Is this a deal breaker? Is this something I can live this live with? <laughs> is this something it could be by the way, a brief underground. <laughs> but it just catch you on the wrong day at the wrong time Yo. and it can send you I'm just saying, that's no what cap. happens to a lot of women. The nicest time for me and I know a lot of couples out there can attest to this is when you know in the vex and then that moment when, when, it happened, when, it, when the ice breaks yeah. and we're back yeah on track yeah and everything but i think that's a again. big reason why men are quicker to want to fix things is because they just want this to be done whereas women we take it on another level where we're like what does this mean um you know what does this mean about you what does this mean about me what does this mean about our marriage are we we go on another level you know we girls will be girls yeah um but it's important for men to understand that too and so to also don't stop extending the olive branch but understand that we might not be ready to do that right then. But you see, if we put out the hand, I'm gonna try around Paul. you be dropping some gems today. When you be acting like you were saying. <laughs> oh, I like this question. How much honesty do you think is needed in your relationship? That is a good question. Just so, so, so. How much yeah. honesty? Yeah. Is there such a thing as too much honesty in a relationship? Like, you don't Yo, always need to say everything or the nah, truth. What's the deal? Nah. Yo, honesty in a relationship sometimes can have a limit, bro. Because check it. If a girl, if you know, say, your boyfriend jealous or your husband jealous. Mm. And your body count is like 60. Body count? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it at five you are encouraging somebody to lie about that yeah because the truth i got hurt this so bad <gasps> the truth i got irk the truth i got berserk i don't, don't do know it. if i agree with that no no you protect that honesty 
I do think that you have to be careful when honesty tiptoes into criticism. All of that too. Yeah. All of that too. That, like, that, that, that's the real way how oh, 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 want to say it still. Oh. The body count <laughs> argument is... That yeah, has some, that's some other stuff. That's some other stuff. But you have to be, you still have to be mindful of somebody. I think the best way to say it sometimes is that if if you wouldn't say it to like somebody who you like love as a friend, and, you, and we can say anything to each other. Enough time, me and we can look at each other and say, yo, something in your teeth or something in your nose or yo, you brush your teeth this morning. Like we run them joke and them honestly. But you can't uh, you can't be you can't do it with intention to hurt anybody's feelings and you know the difference between hurting somebody's feelings and telling them the honest truth and i always say that to pass through three gates is it true is it, or is it just your opinion um is it kind and is it necessary and sometimes i might what i have to say still pass through them gate there and still come out on the other end mean and terrible human you know but we have to be conscious of that because words never leave you. They never die. And something I remember something Wayne said to me years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years ago. Still in there. When this don't we talk. It lived in a head. <laughs> <laughs> Rent free. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my point. We have to be so careful of the things we said. Yeah, I said it the other day. We have to be impeccable with with with, with, the, with, the, with the words we yeah. come out of our mouth, you yeah. know. And that's when honesty can be tricky. Effect. Yeah, tricky. And sometimes you have to just pre it. Is it honest or is it just my opinion? Just because uh, I think too. it is it the truth. Mm. I did this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I just saw that Hello. somebody said, "What is our most treasured?" Um, memory. <gasps> some of them here. All right, guys. Please, oh, we look let's give us some time. Look good. Cool. All right. Careful, careful. Yep, that's good. All, All right, right, perfect. We soon go. We're right. almost done. I thought there's something. Okay, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here's another question, or maybe the last question for today. What do you value most about your relationship? Ooh. Huh? <laughs> is it true? Is it not? Wait. Don't give me. Why is it so hard to answer? No, 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 no. <laughs> what I value most about our relationship is the the family and the unit that we've built. Um, the kids, just the home and the the because every home have a unique signature and a feel and a dna and a fingerprint and i think that our home has managed to cultivate some amount of love and unity and mm -hmm. fun and joy and the personalities and how they interact with each other i think that's one of the biggest things and what i value most is just the unit that 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 has you know yeah <laughs> spawned from really, our relationship i'm really proud of us too like you know even even with stepping into new roles um even with you know becoming like the key guardians now for even alex like stepping into that space and yeah. you know i value our ability to adapt our ability to love like and heal with love um and just kind of have this way of you know just bringing people into our fold whether it is through momo or our mtm family or you know our own family that we just i feel like something i'm really proud of us is our ability to bring everything together yeah um and how we've grown yeah you know our ability to laugh and smile and you know make light of certain things and there's so much I value about our relationship. Like, mm. I feel like it's just, it's just been an amazing thing. It's been an amazing partnership, like to, to have that with somebody and to grow now into a whole new part of ourselves. Like, you know, it's amazing to like be a part of that. And I think we're very blessed. That's awesome. <laughs> I realized that you were blocking my light the whole time. I just you're so messed up. Like, like no, but me never want to see up like this. I'm trying to keep my posture me. up. You and feel no, me? See the light there. Ah. Uh, good thing you're bright. You're bright. 
You have a, you understand? What? You have a glow to you. you no matter what I'm feeling like, I'm pregnant too. <laughs> we literally cannot answer all of the questions. No. But I hope that we answered a lot. And you know what? Questions. Eventually, we'll... We'll, we'll keep um, that tab open. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and exactly. We, can, we can revisit it and thing, yeah. you know. A lot of you guys have us as say hashtag relationship goals and stuff. And Please don't do that. Yes, we, it, it, it feels good to know that you guys can look up to us. Yeah. I hope we've sh shone or shined some Shun. more light on our uh, relationship yeah. so you guys can understand what we are as a partnership. And it's not perfect, it's, there's ups and downs, you know, but we accept each other flaws and all and we are in it for the long haul mm -hmm. you know and i'm not above small I, say, I love above all is it yeah. i say one shot one tall <laughs> <laughs> no but I'll, 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 i used um, to love when you used to take me to the mall <laughs> we had a ball <laughs> this love can't stop you know when we don't have you my oh dear um so come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use all already. You might have brain you might get a brain start. <laughs> <laughs> Into love, we did fall. Remember that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um Why? yeah, we, we will probably do more videos like this if you guys want. Um like I said, it's important for you guys to understand as well that we don't have a perfect marriage, perfect relationship, nothing like that. And we certainly have been through it all. We're coming into our 12th year of marriage this year, um, which is a big deal for us, and we're very proud of that. Yeah. And as best as we can, we try to keep running in the same direction, and I think um, that's what you have to do. Yes, ma'am. I think that's about it. Yeah. If you guys um, like the vibe in the video, learn anything, all our vibes, is it me? Share it with a friend, share it with a family member you don't know. Meet the Mitchells. Um, mm, mm, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Flaws and all. <laughs> no, but guys, if you learned anything from this video, like Wayne said, leave it in the comments if you think that somebody could benefit from seeing this. You know, who may be struggling in, in their own relationship or feel like they're alone. Maybe share this with them. Um, maybe it would shed some light on it for them. Yeah. Um, and we'll do it again if you guys like. Um, this was really fun. So many more questions we couldn't get to, but as you can see, we checked out. Story time next week, Saturday, too, okay? Really? I got something for y'all. You do? Yeah. JD is gonna be so happy. Yeah, no, my, 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 my full of story and drama, you know. Drama, follow me, man. Remember. Don't say that. Eh? Don't, me, don't be impeccable no, about that no, word. No, long time me at but in the past. Okay. That okay. me, that me. Oh, and that's our new thing now. That's like a big thing right now, is to speak life. Speak life speak Close life point. into the into the speak life. Speak, life. speak life into the areas that you want to see changing um and and the best advice i got was if you have anything nice to say keep by your mouth simple simple so i say right that then yep all right love you guys thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank don't you don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video like food and I guess we will say it now, hashtag Tim Family. family.